Hey everybody, it's Meredith. Hey, I want to give y'all um, a review on the Hello Gorgeous hair extensions that I got back in September the 28th. I've done you, I've done a couple of videos on them for you all. Um, I know when I first got them, they were they were just they were fabulous. Um, I haven't, you know. Well, let me just start over. Um, they were fabulous. Um, they're still fabulous, um, but they're very expensive to maintain. Um, I'm having issues with them. I've been having issues with them within days after I got them. If you remember, I, uh, I think it was, I did a video about two weeks and I was telling you guys, I don't wear them that much because it's, they're just, <laughs> they're hard to maintain and hair extensions are expensive to maintain. Um, but I have to admit now that I've had been wearing them, uh, uh I've had them for a length of time. I'm not 100% satisfied with them. Um, you can see them here. I just brushed them, literally, what, 30 minutes ago, Lisa? Mm -hmm. 30 minutes ago? Yeah, and look. Can you see that? Can you see the back? I mean, they're, they're freezing. They frizz all up on me. Um, see the frizziness there? Um, and, and as I wear them longer, within a couple of hours, they'll look all, like, kind of, like, natted and just kind of, just kind of really gross. Um, you know, um, now I can fix it. Yes, I can. Costs me thirty dollars each time to wear them for one day. Not even I'm not talking six, eight, ten, twelve hours. I'm talking to wear them for like maybe three, four hours. Okay. And I have to go and I have to get the products. I have to spray them all down, work them all the way through individually before I put them into my hair and brush it through, let them dry. Um and do them. Uh, I'm using the Matrix Dehumidifier and Detangler and um, I'll show it here later for you if you want to know. Um, it's $16 a bottle and then I'll have to use that conditioning stuff uh, yeah and that I've posted on there before. So basically um, I'm having to use oh, about $100 worth of products where I'm one day out of a week out of four, four to five week months. Yeah. So I'm looking at $100 a month to wear them that many times, if that much. Yeah. And when I put the stuff in it, the next day I have to do it all over again. Um, it, it's I'm not real happy. I mean, I'm not saying that I won't ever order them again. These are the 24-inch Deluxe. They are expensive. They were $400 um, from Hello Gorgeous. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm fed up. I'm just... Uh, I guess I'm kind of having a gripe uh, in a nice way. I had another video and I took it off because I thought that maybe it was a little too much. But yeah, I'm not real happy with these hair extensions. Um, I may, like I said, I might buy them again. Maybe I just got a bad set. I know that can happen. But look at this. Can you see that? I mean, look. Can you? I'm trying to get it closer. See, and it's not just lifting layers or anything like little pieces. It's like in clumps. And as it goes up, it gets more frizzier. You see that? Um, I want to just let this let y'all know out there, people who cannot afford to take a risk of $400 on a hair extensions and getting a set like this, I don't recommend you to get them. I do not. Um, I'd recommend you just go on to Sally's, pay the 90 bucks for their clip-in extensions that they have. You know, they're not going to last as long, but, um, at least it ain't $400 and you got this and you, and I've got less than probably... 25 wears in them, like I told you, just for a few hours at a time. Yeah, I've never slept in them. I've only put heat to them once with the little, you know, the finger waves that I showed a while back on a very low heat. Yeah, see? This is what I'm getting. And um, I can fix it. I can go now, I, and I just brush these, like I said, like 30 minutes ago, and they're already starting to do it again. See that? I brush them, they look nice, they look all in, and it starts all up again. Um, but if there's any tips that maybe anybody else can give me, I would, I would, <laughs> oh, it'd be so appreciated very much. Um, I've not abused them. I've only washed them once as I've had them. Um, and the products that I do put on them are just, you know, for just getting the shine back in them. They're just an oil that I showed before, the silkening and things like that. And then I've, I tried this stuff. It's by um, Raskin or Redkin or something like that and um, 
Now I have to admit, I used that stuff on them here, what was it, Saturday? For Saturday, when I went to my husband's Christmas party and I wore them. And that stuff made them look like they were brand new out the box the day I got them. But here it is, Monday, and this is what they're looking like. And I hadn't worn them since that night. And I thought, because they, they looked so pretty, I was so happy to wear them again. And I thought, they were oh, they look so gorgeous. You know, let me just put them in for a little bit today. And this is it. Um, <laughs> they're a hot mess. Look, it looks like I got fried. What what would you call that? And the more I do it, the more icky it gets. See that? Ick. Um, yeah. So, um, any advice anybody can give me, I sure appreciate it. Um, I don't know what to do. I have spent probably around $300 in hair, hair care products with these. I put them in a box. I've stored them away in my dresser drawer. Um, you know, I just don't know. Now, I got another set for my daughter as well, and hers are red. And she's not having the issues with them at all. So, you know, I know for a fact, though, when you get when you have fair colored hair like mine, um, you know, you are running a risk when you buy hair extension because they have to really process them. And maybe that's what's happened with these when they process and didn't take the processing very well. And the hair is very, very thin. See it? It's very thin hair. Maybe it's just super fine. Um, you know, I've not been out in the wind and things in them. Um, one night I did come in, they were in the wind, but, you know, I had tied them back. So, and I was bringing in my groceries, but... Other than that, you can't be doing things with your hair extensions like you would do real hair because you have to take special care of them. And um, But anyway, just thought I'd share. I'm not real happy. Um, I really think I should get another set of hair extensions that HG should actually give me a set, but I doubt that'll happen. Um, but I am going to order another pay, another set probably in about a month, month or so. I'm going to go ahead and order another set, and I'm going to see how those fare compared to these, and I will do you a video on those as well and um we'll see how it goes hopefully i just got a bad set and hope you guys don't end up with this either you know it's not good when you spend four hundred dollars on a set of hair extensions and you worn them as little as i've worn them you know and uh to be dealing with this you know people out there i can understand if they're out there doing things that they shouldn't be doing in them i mean hey but i haven't i don't go swimming in them <laughs> none of that crazy you can't be doing stuff like that with them you have to be very careful and gentle with them. But anyway, um, hope this helps with anybody buying um, hair extensions. You know, do use caution. Um, H Hello Gorgeous, as far as I am concerned, do have the best hair extensions when it comes for people with fair hair. Um, but they are expensive to buy. Um, these deluxe also, you know, they're expensive to maintain. And it, like I was saying, it cost me about $30 to wear them each dime. To really get them where they look super fabulous it's about thirty dollars in hair products yeah each time so you need to consider that as well um anyway i think when i get my new set these will go in a set of my horse's mane you know <laughs> i have to admit though the hair extensions i got some months ago off of ebay that was half synthetic actually i think they held up better than these and i only paid what was it twenty dollars for a uh, set of 22 inch yeah actually yeah they did they held up much better that's pretty sad isn't it but it is what it is so for you gurus that's out there making up these lies for these people out here talking about these hair extensions <laughs> stop it you know just stop it and be real okay and um that's it hope this review helps ciao